Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, for the next series of videos, I'll be talking about how do you add validation to uh, some data entry. So, uh, so first, uh, let me just uh, some setup. Uh, I have on screen here a bunch of uh, labels and and uh, text boxes and drop downs and so on. All right, uh, and the idea is I'm going to go through the various types of validation methods uh, for some or all of these uh, data types. Sorry, some of the, all of these uh, data entry to demonstrate how to use them. All right, all right. First off, uh, there is some uh, changes that you have to do to your web application. Uh, in your solution explorer, you'll see a web.config file. So if you open that. That's the first thing you have to do. You open that, and then uh, if then you look through the your configuration. If you just started, then I think this is probably all that you have. Uh, then you need to add. I'm just adding uh, these three lines. So there's an app settings, and there's a, something called an add key validation settings, unobtrusive validation mode value none, and then slash app settings. So this is just a an XML uh, type file. Well, it is an XML file there. All right, so this needs to go in first before the demos or what we're trying to do would work. All right, all right, so let me just explain. So, save this. Uh, let me just explain the form that I've just created. So, uh, what I have here is I, I have a, a table. I don't, I'm not sure, hopefully, you can see that there's actually a, a table uh, in the background, and I got this by, by going to the toolbox under the uh, HTML section there is a table yeah so for example if you drag and drop it here then you get uh, a three column say three row by three column uh, grid or a table uh, you can add more rows or add more columns so for example if I were to highlight these three I right click and then I can delete and then say delete columns then it will get rid of the middle part and I can adjust, and I can adjust the uh, the width. Uh, yes, yeah, so I can adjust the width. Uh, and uh, so what I've done in, in the table up here is that I I put labels on the left, and I put a bunch of, uh, of input uh, controls on the right. Okay. Now the labels, some of them are just simply typed. Uh, so for example, these are just simply typed straight into the table cells or in some cases it's actually a label so this is actually these two are actually labels that I've, that I've placed inside I'll I'll explain to you why I'm doing that because I need to demonstrate later on how I use CSS to style uh, these uh, these labels all right and then you have the text boxes so I have a text box here called name text box uh, I'll come to this part the drop down list a little bit later I have a, another text box called DOB text box. Uh, two more text boxes here. One is called min marks. Oh, I think I should be called min weight. So let me just change that. Uh, okay, min weight. Because that's the question I'm asking. So min weight and max weight. Alright, min, min weight and max weight text box. Then I have a staff ID text box. And finally, I'll have an uh, even number text box. Alright, so, so the series of uh, validation control I'm going to test uh, are on the left side here. If you go down to, or if you go up from where I, where I was at just now, under validation, there's a section called validation. Alright. Uh, so I'll be demonstrating how to use compare validator, custom validator, range validator, regular expression validator, required field validator, and also adding this thing called a validation summary. All right. Okay, let me just get rid of this table that I just created just now. Uh, delete, and then I say table, so that'll get rid of the table. All right. Uh, all right, so so this is my, my initial setup. Uh, so I've saved something inside webconfig. That's very important to make sure that it works. And then I created this uh, this set of uh, uh, labels and input controls. 
There's also a submit button here. This is just a regular button. I call it a submit button. All right. All right. So the next thing I want to do before I go into each one of the cases, what I want to have is actually at the very top here, at the very top here, before this enter your name part, I would like to uh, have this thing here called a validation summary. A validation summary is a uh, it's like a, a, a place where uh, a place where a summary of any errors uh, would appear. So I'm just dropping a validation summary into this area. Now I can customize how this looks like. So for example, I'm I'm going to add a, a border, a border width, a border width of one, all right, and a border color of red, so that it's kind of well highlighted. All right. Uh, well, maybe I'll maybe I'll set this style to solid. All right. So I have a solid. Maybe make this two points to make it a little more uh, visible. All right. So a two point red border solid. All right. Okay. So the idea of the validation summary is if there are any errors on this particular page of any data that is entered here, uh, then a list of them will appear up here. All right, so we'll, we'll demo that in a bit. So so for now, for this video, uh, that's all I want to do as an initial setup. I mean, if I were to run this, uh, if I were to run this, I don't think I'll be able to see much except for the controls that I have. Uh, okay, let's have a look at how it looks like. All right, okay. So It'll come up in a bit. Okay, there you go. So if you notice, the error summary is nothing there. It's, it's empty. It's, it's, sorry, it's just completely invisible because there are no errors yet. Okay, let me explain a little bit about uh, uh, the the drop down list. All right. So here's just a select your pre preferred house. Here's just uh, the four names from Harry Potter. Uh, so let me explain to you a little bit about how I did that. All right. The submit button doesn't doesn't do anything right now. All right. All right, so all right, back to the form. So the drop-down list is actually from here, from the standard uh, controls drop-down list. This one, yeah, this one here. All right, what I did is after I dropped it in, I clicked this little uh, arrow and I checked and I clicked on edit items. Uh, so then I start populating this this uh, this uh, table. All right. So first, I put a please select at the top, and then the list of uh, four uh, uh, houses, house names. Now, if you notice, as I click on the left, on the right, it shows the text and the value. Now, uh, so here, as the very first thing that will show, uh, it will show please select. So that'll be the, the default text that it will appear when I run the when I run the app at the very beginning. All right. So that's basically how I did it. Uh, so now, okay. So now next, uh, I'll just go into each individual type of validation. 